and if we lose that, then we're in trouble. And we can't lose it. We're at a point where, like, Judeo-Christian ethics can't die because if they do, or it does, then our civilization is done. Because its foundation blocks are of that ethic. Now then the question is, well, is there anything to that? Well, that's partly what I've been exploring in this biblical series, which has been oddly popular. Right? I think the most popular video I've ever made, the most viewed video, is the first one in the 13-part biblical series that I've done so far, called An Introduction to the Idea of God. And it's an investigation into the metaphysics of consciousness, I suppose. My proposition is that what is expressed in the story of Genesis right at the beginning is the idea that the essential creative element of divinity is expressed in the idea of the logos, the word, right? So and the idea there is that there's something about, well, what we're doing here, say, which is the exchange of communicative information that is constitutive of the world. It calls a world into being. And, and that consciousness plays a role of calling the world into being through language. And that's the image of God in, in man, as far as I can tell. Now, that may not be all it is, and I'm not claiming that I have an exhaustive account of that story, because it's not possible to have an exhaustive account of it. But there's a really deep idea in there, which is that the individual participates in the creation of being through his and her use of communication. And that as a consequence, then that's the reason that the individual is of transcendent value. And I think that's true. It's not metaphorically true. It's not symbolically true, although it might be both of those as well. It's just true. And if we lose that, then we're in trouble. And we can't lose it. Now, people act as if it's true. Because we treat each other, when we're treating each other properly, as if we're locales of the co-creation of being. That's why your opinion matters. That's why you have a right to it. That's why other people listen to you. It's important that that happens. Now, unfortunately, our explicit understanding of that and our implicit understanding of that aren't in alignment. That's really the death of God in some sense, in the Nietzschean sense. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to let's say, rectify. It's one of the things that Carl Jung was trying to rectify. You know, because Nietzsche knew that with the death of God, there would come both nihilism and totalitarianism. And he knew it would be of the radical leftist sort, most particularly. And he knew that it would result in millions of deaths. He predicted all of that, which is unbelievable. And, and Nietzsche thought, well, human beings would have to become supermen in some sense, in order to overcome the death of God, to bear it. And that they could do that, in some sense, by voluntarily recreating themselves. Now, Jung was a student of Nietzsche's. Not technically, but, you know, but intellectually. And he was very interested in that idea of the recreation of the Superman. But Jung knew something that I would say Nietzsche didn't know, which was that we don't get to create ourselves. We participate in the creation of being, but we're already formed creatures. We have a nature which we cannot override. Well, you know that. You can't just tell yourself what to do. You won't just trot out and obey yourself, which is really weird, you know? It's like, you think, well, I'm going to change my diet, I'm going to exercise more. It's like, no, you're not. You can't just, you just don't follow your own orders. And so Jung said, look, we have a deep, deep nature. And it's expressed in symbolic vision and that in, in archetypal reality, essentially. And we have to communicate with that in order to restructure our value systems. And I believe that he was correct. And so that means going back into the past. And well, they 
This has almost become an internet meme. Rescuing your father from the belly of the whale. Rescuing your dead father from the belly of the whale. Right? And that's, that's what needs to be done. And that means to revivify, particularly the idea of the Logos. The idea of the divinity of the communicative capacity of the individual. Which is the fundamental predicate of our society. Right? Our society says that the individual is sovereign over the community. The community is important. The individual has responsibilities to the community. But the community has to hold the individual as the sovereign entity. It's like, yes. That's right. And it's taken people, it's not an arbitrary ideological statement, it's taken people hundreds of thousands of years to develop that idea to the point where it can be reasonably articulated. You know, it was expressed in ritual, it was expressed in myth, in image, all of that. We were acting out this dream that represented that. that that's, what, that's what the, 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 the Christian drama is about, in essence. It's about what the entire Bible is about, in some sense. But it's not like we understand that in an articulated manner. Now, I think Jung went farther than anyone to, to make that articulated understanding a possibility. And that's the sort of thing that I'm trying to further. And that seems to be working. I mean, one of the things that I've noticed is that, and this is a remarkable thing, is that talking to young men in particular about responsibility and truth is a highly marketable message. They're, they're half dead for lack of that message. And that's, who would have guessed that? You know, it's, it's, so I have this theater in Toronto where I give these lectures and they're sold out every time. Which is, you know, if you would have gone to someone with a business plan and said, well, I'm going to rent this theater and I'm going to give lectures on the psychological significance of the biblical stories, uh, what do you think? You want to lend me some money? Uh, on that bet, they would have laughed you right out of the office. It's completely unlikely. But, these old ideas, man, they're, they're eternal. That's what they are. And you become dissociated from them at your extreme peril, psychologically and socially.